struggling to find your very first product to sell on Amazon, by the end of this video, I will share with you the one strategy that I've been utilizing for years that finds me products without even spending hours researching, so be sure that you stay tuned. For the best Amazon FBA advice, tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new videos every single week. One of our newest students was able to scale his very first product on Amazon to about 10 units per day in less than two weeks from launching. So if you'd like to know how you can get involved, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a very special announcement. Now, whether if you have already started selling on Amazon, maybe you're just still, you know, looking at the process right now, maybe you've, you know, you think that you found a product or, you know, you're in a process of negotiations, maybe you have taken a course or you've been watching YouTube channels of other gurus or maybe my videos or whatever the case may be, right? I'm pretty sure you have probably come across, uh, you know, wanting to, Find a product that fits in a shoebox that you know has, uh, let's say, a, a size, a, a weight of two pounds or less. That the average uh, seller has 300 sales per month. You know, 100 or less reviews. And then maybe you're going to Alibaba to find your products, going straight to Amazon to find your products by looking at the BSR of 100,000 or less. Maybe even looking at things like you know, Helium 10 web app or General Scouts or all the, you know, 100 million different uh, tools that are available to you on the marketplace. And, uh, you know, just kind of trying to figure things out, maybe even looking at what's seasonal, right? Maybe you're into seasonal products and you're looking at, you know what, maybe I should go for Christmas is right around the corner. It's a few months. Maybe I'll look for seasonal products or Mother's Day or whatever the case may be, right? Maybe also you're looking at essential products during these times and trying to sell you know, uh, hand sanitizers, uh, masks, all these different things, right? Depending on who you're listening to or how you got exposed to the process of concept of selling on Amazon, you know, you probably have a million people shouting at you and a million methods, you know, kind of showing you how to sell on Amazon correctly or the right way, right? And you probably have been spending or have spent hours and maybe, you know, weeks or days or months even locating your very first product. And maybe you've even said, you know what, I give up. This product looks good. Let's go for it, right? Well, whatever the case may be, look, I was in your shoes a couple of years ago when I first started selling. I found a couple of products, launched them, went nowhere very quickly, then found a method, you know, a product research criteria that I could duplicate and simply, you know, every time I found a product that matched that criteria, it went well. Well, the problem was that it took forever to find that product. You know, like I'm pretty sure you're probably in the same place right now, you know? It's like, all right, I've got this promising criteria, this makes sense, but trying to find a product that matches the criteria is, I mean, near impossible, right? I mean, it takes hours, it takes days, it takes weeks to do that, right? And you're like, well, I'm trying to quit a job, right? And start selling on Amazon. But this is kind of starting to look like it's not as fun as it really, all these gurus make it look like on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, you know? Like, when does the Lamborghini show up? You know, when do I get to go to the Maldives? You know, when do I get to enjoy life and, and work on the beach and sip Mai Tais? Like, when does that ever happen, right? And I get it, man. Look, I was in your shoes, you know? But once you can figure out that process, believe me, things really start looking a lot better, right? Once you have that streamlined process, things definitely do start looking up and, and look a, a lot better than what they might kind of seem to you right now. Now the winner for our last week's giveaway is Mark Combs, and hopefully I didn't butcher the last name. If you'd like to win or to enter the to win our, uh, you know, next week's uh, giveaway, be sure to drop in the comment section, BJKU, and uh, we're doing a uh, giveaway for my step-by-step -step guide on how to sell on Amazon successfully. I knew that there was a way, that there has got to be a way for me to find products on autopilot or to be a lot easier, right? And I didn't need to spend hours, tens of hours, hundreds of hours researching to find one product, right? So I, I went on a mission to finding that one product research method that did that for me. I had a solid criteria. Every time I found a product that matched that criteria, I did well. But for me to find those products, it took me forever. And that's when, it, you know, the light bulb just kind of lit up in my head, right? And what I noticed and what I saw that was happening in my case was that every time, you know, like I encountered a task that I didn't like, I outsourced it. 
um, you know, product create, you know, listing creation, um, photo photography, you know, that wasn't something that I knew how to do. So I outs that was one of the first things that I outsourced, you know, someone, you know, helping me with optimizing my listing, creating my PPC campaigns, launching the product, having, you know, the first couple of reviews in, maybe doing the giveaway, just different aspects of the business, my bookkeeping. I wasn't very good at that, you know, um, the email automations, all that stuff. So I found myself hiring and, and having different tools help me with different aspects of the business. But the one thing that always remained to be done by me personally was product research. And although that was the most time consuming, I still, you know, saw myself doing it. So I started thinking, but what if I outsource that part, right? What if I found someone to do it for me, right? What would that look like? So what I started doing is I went on a website called Fiverr, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know of. And I simply started researching for people who that's all they do, right? At the time I was driving for Uber. At the time I, I you know, I, I had just lost my restaurant and I was $150,000 in debt. I was driving for Uber. I was helping my brother in his business. And on the side, I was trying to build this Amazon business because I saw the potential, right? So literally what I would be doing is I would have my laptop with me while I'm driving for Uber in between calls. I would whip out my laptop and then start product researching. But the problem is it was just taking too long, right? And I had borrowed $5,000 from who now is my mother-in-law to really launch those couple, you know, first couple products. So I knew that, you know what, I had launched a couple products that were doing well and I knew that I had something special. It was just time for me to scale it, right? And it was just not easy to scale and it was very discouraging because I was trying to get out of the grind, you know, get out of driving for Uber, get out of exchanging my time for money and instead run this business that was ran on autopilot that I can work a little bit right now and then set up and just kind of manage as I go without having to be involved in the day-to-day -day operations, without having to be involved in the, the sale of every single product, right? And that's why I even started, you know, selling on Amazon. So I started outsourcing this, 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 uh, this, this task, right? The task that took probably 80% of my time, okay? And I simply was able to have a criteria, go to Fiverr, find someone for between 50 to $150, give them my criteria and tell them, I need you to find me a product that matches this specific criteria. Now, you probably have a criteria that you're looking in, right? Whether if it's different categories, whether if it's different size of a product, different niche, you know, how many units you want to sell per month, how much you want it, you want the product to sell for, depending on your budget, you know, how everything looks. And then I've got, you know, different uh, videos in my channel that talks about what your budget should look like, you know, how to launch these products, what kind of products they look like. But the actual method that finds these products, what's that? And I've been utilizing this method for the past at least two years in my businesses and have been teaching my students this method as well. And it's literally the one thing that is responsible for me and my students to be able to launch products in under six weeks from starting. I literally get a student in, I teach them the entire business, and they also are able to launch their first product live on Amazon generating revenue in under six weeks. And that's because we outsource that task. You need to start working on your business, not in your business. And working on your business simply means outsourcing and delegating. That's the difference between a leader and a, 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 you know, someone that's just an employee, an employer and an employee, right? The employer hires employees that do specific things better than him or her, right? So, you know, people that product research, that's all they do. Day in, day out, they're simply product researchers. Now you may be thinking, but what if this person has a list and then they sell it to a bunch of different people? Absolutely, that's definitely possible. Another thing is what if this person, you know, is giving me these products that they are themselves selling on Amazon. That's definitely possible as well, but that's why you have your own criteria and you should have a coach with you that's helping you through the process that can analyze these products and look at them and see number one, if they're saturated, number two, a coach who has been doing this should be able to like, look, my last 10 students been sending me the same exact products. There's a problem. Hey guys, where are you getting your products from? Are you researching them yourselves or are you having someone do it for you? And if someone is doing it for you, you know, the, the case could very possibly be that the same person is selling the same list. So that's why it's very important to still have a coach, but 
Delegating and outsourcing the tasks, especially product research, is very important, especially if you are looking to scale your business in 2020. Now, guys, I truly hope that the last few minutes have shed some light on you know how you can scale your business, uh, your Amazon business 2020, and how to find your first product to sell. Um, now, if you're like Bashar, this all stuff sounds great. I love FBA, I can't wait to quit my job, but it just sounds a little complicated, man, and I'd rather have someone walk me through the steps give me their product research criteria and simply show me how it's done. Well, the first link in the description is to a 25 minute workshop where I'll simply break down to you exactly how I do what I do. And then at the end of the workshop, I prompt you to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me where we answer all of your questions, figure out if working with me is a good fit and then kind of how we can take you uh, to the next level from there. But aside from that guys, Bashar Ketu here. Thank you very much for taking the time to, you know, watch this video. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also share with your friends who will find value in this video. Until next time, have yourselves a great week and take care.